All right, welcome back to Swoop Reactions. If this is your first time tapping in, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get into this. So I wanted to ask some, well, not ask, but answer some of y'all questions in the comment section. So A.V429 requested that I react to a video. So this video that I'm about to react to says here, go check out this video by Planet Zoo entertainment he explains everything about these booty hunters <laughs> yo this is very interesting let's hear it let's hear it out so he's he's talking about the bounty hunters specifically huh so he so simultaneously while i'm you know having it out with the booty hunters motherfucking um this dude, this other guy, this when guy. Now, I forgot what your name is, blood. I really did. Um, you got Planet Zoo Entertainment, so that's kind of like what you push him. Whatever this is, some sort of entertainment group. Now, the only thing I know about you, blood, is you claim Skyline. That's 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 what you put out there. That you a man and a Skyline and. Some other shit I think you put before blood. You put pretty much everything before blood, which is crazy to me. And that's what I was going to react to you and react to your position, you know, as a skyline. Because you you made some comments that uh, damn near made me vomit. And I was like, holy shit. Like, at one point, I was really upset with skyline. I was, I was like, drop a meteor on that motherfucker and blow their ass up out of the fucking smithereens. Because just like bounty hunters, uh, the Skyline did the very a very similar thing. Not only did the uh, Skyline, this was Skyline. The Skyline got into it with the Lincoln Park Power Rules at the time. LPPs got into it with the Skyline Power Rules because they claim Skyline Power Rule, but you know. It's under the blood umbrella, right? The whole blood alliance, I'm going to call it. Some people call it umbrella. I call it alliance. But, you know, it's also called the UBN, United Blood Nation. And I don't know why we're calling it umbrellas and alliance. We might as well call it the United Blood Nation. So it is. <laughs> you know, it's alliance. That, that alliance is what formed and created the United Blood Nation. So he got king on his hat, right? And I'm like, okay, that must be a nod to King Blood. So if you are referencing King Blood, why not just say UBN? Why not, you know, salute and present your know, presentment? Let's let's hear it right before I get in. Before I get long winded, y'all. So this is a. Uh, I don't know who he is. I don't know his name, but I know he's from Scotland. And he's saying bounty hunter, uh, well, booty hunter blowjob. Are Bloods and Pyrus the same gang? Little Wayne, Baby, Pyrus, who put them on? Which is re irrelevant. But let's hear it. He got a chat. Somebody, is this live? He did this shit live? Blood do this shit live? Let's go. Every uh, homeboys in San Diego, California, if you do not tap in to Planet Zoo Entertainment or the wrong kind, you got action, man. What action? You got action at the police. You got action at enemies. You got action at homies running up on you. Because you're not tapping in. Tapping us. Not no soft extortion, bro. <laughs> love. Hold up. Hold up. That's love? <laughs> this nigga said the police gonna get y'all if y'all don't tap in. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna call that medium we'll call that medium extortion <laughs> if it's not hard extortion that shit's at least medium <laughs> you gotta tap in us tap in for what what are you talking about like subscribe <laughs> you might get a subscription out of me but as far as tap it in what the fuck <laughs> tap it in what do you mean tap in <laughs> All right. we will make sure mm -hmm. while you're here you're mm -hmm. able to lounge and have a good time to the fullest and utmost, and we will have people in position to make sure if anything goes wrong, it'll be okay. Oh, listen, listen. I don't trust that. <laughs> listen. 
Listen, I don't trust that. And you know why I don't trust that? Because, like, like you said, you don't put the blood identity first, blood. You are one of them Paru pirates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're, you're over there ahoying, literally, right now for Captain Booty Chin, whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, uh, not Booty Chin, my bad. Captain Blowjob. <laughs> uh, Frappuccino here. You bapping for Frappuccino. <laughs> the fake captain who ain't led nobody to nothing besides the theater to see his fucking bullshit. Is that what you're trying to do? Like, you want to, like, set up, like, uh, you know, fucking shows for this nigga? Is that what you're trying to do? I don't know. Y'all let me... It may it make sense. I mean, maybe y'all need a better, like, narrator or writer or something. I, just some thoughts. Yeah, you can holler at me because, I, you know, I got some ideas for you niggas. I, I'll, I'll put you niggas to work. I'll show you how to be real... Real bloods. If y'all want to be real bloods, you know. Because this is, I don't know about all this shit. You, you wearing some regalia blood, but the regalia don't make you a blood. Especially, you wearing all this regalia blood, but you put blood at the end of your, you know, your identity. Right? You got all this other shit stacked on it. You got black, man, uh, skyline, all this shit stacked on top of it, but you don't put the blood identity first, which is questionable to me as a blood, because I put, you know, I'm blood first. And all this other shit's after. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's hear it. Like, when you look at people like Birdman, Wayne, mm -hmm. um, these are popular bloods in entertainment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pop myself for laughing on that question, but go ahead. Or do y'all respect them and recognize them as blood? Hell no. Shit, no. I don't. And I hold out of others that I can speak for, too. I respect... My respect to... To Bird and to Wayne is specifically what they are to me. Talented. He's a CEO who really built an empire with his brother. I respect the man for that. When it comes to his blood shit... Ain't no respect for us. Me honor him as a blood. I respect him as who he is as a man. But for me to go out my way and, and stamp the niggas out, yeah, Birdman, he the shit, he my nigga. No. I personally on hand, homie. Real talk, and nigga want to contest it. You niggas know how to holler. But I personally on hand had to stop him and Lil Wayne one time at the Soul Train Award. We get nominated for a granny at this time. I said, we, me, two trill ET, two trill West, Bun B, Pimp C, and, um, we just come up off our, come up out our, uh, our vehicle, going into the red carpet. We hit our trailer. As we going in, Snoop stop us. So we hollering and chopping up with Snoop, little Papa, Snoop bodyguard, homie Papa, shit, man, you know. So we chopping it up. These niggas getting out their limos, they push up. Immediately, I spent around and seen them. So now, at this point in time, I'm on my network status to where I want to meet the niggas anyway to collaborate and do some business with him. Had to stop him and Lil Wayne one time at the Soul Train Award. We get nominated for a granny at this time. I said, we, me, two trill ET, two trill West, Bun B, Pimp C. And um, we just come up off our, come up out our, uh, our vehicle, going into the red carpet. We hit our trailer. As we going in, Snoop stop us. So we hollering and chopping up with Snoop, Lil Papa, Snoop bodyguard, homie Papa, shit, man, you know. So we chopping it up. These niggas getting out their limos, they push up. Immediately, I spent around and seen them. So now, at this point in time, I'm on my network status to where I wanted to meet the niggas anyway to come around and do some business with these niggas because he was fucking with my little homie, rest in peace, the PD. Okay. You feel me? And I'm, I was mentoring my little homie. And I knew my little homie was fucking with him on the music tip. So I'm trying to, you know, get my... This nigga say little PD? Hmm. I hear PD. I'm, the first thing I'm thinking is police department. What the fuck is PD? Let's go. Hmm. Watch ourselves, bro. Mm -hmm. Kind of awkward ass name. What the fuck? My little homie, the game and teach you, man, how to stay solid with this shit and really, really go get your money. Don't be around these niggas being no fucking groupie. Don't hang around these niggas so these niggas get your credibility and get your name on with it. Handle your shit for real, for real. So that was my whole approach with to do an introduction. Hey, to, nigga, if you, if you ain't heard, then you need to know who I am. I'm such and such. So when I approached them, Niggas had the red flags in they left pocket, homie. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Totally disrespected. I pushed right up on them niggas. Blood, what's happening? Blood, what's up, homie? Niggas know who I am. Nigga, I'm burning out the beach. I'm CJ Gordon, homie. CEO, paper chasing the... You heard what you just said? What's up? 
What's up, right? Hold on. He said, oh, I'm Bonnie Hunter BJ. What's up? Hmm. Hmm, okay. Same to Dutra West. Hey, my niggas, you niggas got the flags in the wrong pocket, homeboy. Nigga looked at me. Hmm. Turn around, oh, no disrespect, OG. Okay. Kept it on pushing in and shit, but you know, just that little, just that moment, that split moment there, spit me to a whole nother direction, so... So you felt the way that you try to press the homie, they just move right on past your goofy ass, cause you a non-factor, uh, booty hummer blowjob, booty hummer blowjob. What the fuck is a what's up? Like wow, what's up? All right, blood. I'm like all right, well, and just troop right past your dumb ass, cause I'm like all right, don't seem like the homies want no issue or nothing like that. You pressing the homies. But you hanging out with the ops? You hanging out with the crabs? You, you ain't go up to the crabs and be pressing shit. So how the fuck you gonna try to press the homies? You know the at an award show, right? You acting at the show, putting on performances as this big tough ass booty goon. The fuck kind of nigga is you, blood? This is what you do, showing out. Blood. This is showing out, blood. You think you somebody? Who is you, Captain? <laughs> Captain Booty Hunter, blood. Like, like you running something. That's crazy. I don't care about how fucking... Man, the, the motherfucking Booty Hunter building could be as big as a fucking castle. I don't give a fuck. It could be the Taj Mahal of fucking project buildings. I don't go flying fuck. We ain't in your fucking project building, nigga. When you come outside here, blood, it's fair. It's up. It's up. You bring your ass outside that project building. It's, I'll show you what's up. Man, I'll send the real captain over there and row, row, row your fucking boat, blood. Hmm. Yeah, the, yeah, I'm going to send Hook outside, blood. Hook going to be outside, blood. <laughs> yeah, he love lot boys. He love the lost boys. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. He going to show y'all a little vamp tramp ass the motherfucking business. Oh, girl. Yeah. As they grew in the game and I started noticing and seeing that that was their reflection, that they was representing the Damu thing, you know, I... My mind was already made up to the point, you know, for me, it was some carnation shit to me because of the fact that, who are you niggas official under? Blood, listen, the the vice lords to this day wear rare rags out the left. The uh, BPS still wear their flags to the left and they bloods and you ain't pressing that. Uh, a lot of homies still wearing their flags to the left and that they bloods. The vice lords were bloods too and they, you know, they got booted out the motherfucking you know, identity. That's why they ain't running around saying that they bloods no more because they were forced out. They're forced out by force. We kicked their ass up out of here. Yeah, get the fuck on out of here. Look at them now. Look at the look at the hooks now. Where they all in chaos, renegades. They don't have no place to call home. They all out alone on their own. Surviving. <laughs> you know. By the hairs of their fucking chinny chin chin. Oh. Who, who, who stamped you niggas out of Cali? Who made you niggas official? Out of town. You don't need Cali to make nobody fucking official. Uh, you being official is wherever the fuck you at. Listen, listen. He's talking all this shit about uh, Lil Wayne and all this. But look, look, look. Look here. Look here. He talking about Lil Wayne. And then, let's keep on, let's keep on. Blood. And then he wants to speak for all, so-called all the Bloods. I mean, he can't be talking about the, the Bloods in San Diego. Because if we're talking about the Lincoln Lincolns, the Lincolns got a video. Compton Menace. So we got Compton. Part, we got a Compton nigga from Fruit Town, right? Ain't, ain't Menace from Fruits. So we got Fruit, Skyline, and Mob on one song called Blood Niggas. Very popular song. I would say it's kind of like a cult classic. So we got Blood Niggas. This song was broken. You know what? I, I might have to do a reaction of me watching um, and listening to that song. Because that song, that was one of my favorite songs. I used to have that song in rotation. Blood, Blood Niggas. Well, that shit was banging. Oh, and, um, and Lil Wayne gave probably one of his best features ever on that bitch. Oh, that shit was so... That shit... When that nigga was spitting on that bitch... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, now... 
despite how I feel about that nigga <laughs> and what I think he is, you know, because I think uh, Lil Wayne is possessed by the devil and all that shit. I think that nigga is satanic and, and all, all that shit. But listen, uh, he took the blood identity and put it on a fucking, he put it on route Mount Rushmore. Blood. If you had the Mount, Mount, Mount Rushmore as far as the bloods, top blood rappers, blood. This, this would it be. Tech Nine, Lil Wayne, mm, who else? Tech Nine, Lil Wayne, who else is more, who, who's bracken after that? Mount Rushmore of blood rappers as of now. Like that just stomp down they hardcore blood. I don't even recall Lil Wayne the hardcore blood, but he still, you know, identifies his blood. Who else could we throw up there? Mac Ten. Mac Ten. I'll probably say Mac Ten for show. Mac Ten's up there. There's a lot of other homies, blood. I'm I'm just like I don't wanna like we're going to leave that last one blank for when I really like take some time and, you know, do my research and kind of compel all the thoughts. Cause I got a lot of homies in my head right now. I listen to y'all, 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 but I'm like the Mount Rushmore. Like I got to leave a face blank right now, you know, to think about it. Y'all niggas got to show me and, and y'all got to have a stellar career, blood, like a stellar career, like all the way into your end of your death. Cause that's the only way you're going to leave this shit is by death. So if you died of blood and you was at the top of your pinnacle, man, you always going to be in my top of that Mount Rushmore thing in my head. And, you know, whenever I give it up, you going to be on my mind. So listen here, blood. And, and Mitchie, Mitchie slick, blood. Mitchie might be up there too, blood. He, he's, he's right there on that. He might be, he might be on that number four. I'm telling you, he might be. He, might, he just might be. I can't think of no other homies like that who who brought us to a pinnacle of, um, you know, just being solid overall homies. I, I don't even recall Lil Wayne, a so-called solid homie, but as far as, like, his raps, it, that shit's been pretty solid. Um, You can even make an argument for game as far as what game is put on as far as rap goes, you know, and the blood identity he's... As far as I know, he never uh, flipped or anything or did anything. I mean, he has been pretty dishonorable. And he's done a lot of dishonorable things. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, oh, my, I already know. I, I already know. I already know who's on, who's who's the last one so far. And matter of fact, I ain't even going to put him on Mount Rushmore yet. He's an upcoming nigga. Live D, blood. Live D might be. He might be. Yo, blood is just going crazy right now. Shout out to Live D. Um, top 30s, blood. You know, as far as uh, who's on the mic right now, blazing shit. Right now? Right now, right now? Nobody fucking with Live. Nobody. Let's go. I'm claiming LA gangs and one thing. And people probably would be making arguments for Mozzie, right? Oh, yeah, Mozzie. I've heard Mozzie songs. I ain't never related to Mozzie. I can't personally say that. that nigga's on my. He's not ever, he's nowhere close to being on that fucking Mount Rushmore. He's he's like, he's like maybe like in my top thirty blood. I probably say he's in the top thirty somewhere. <laughs> he might be sitting down at like twenty nine. Respectfully, shit. Thing I recently seen is that Little Wayne mm -hmm. is from Mob uh, Piru. Have you heard about that? Yeah. I guess a guy named Terminator is the one that made it happen. Term, that's my, uh, that's Buntree's brother-in-law. My nephew's uncle, Lil Alton's uncle. Yeah, Term, Term is real good with, you know, he know a lot of them, basketball players, all that. Um, if Lil Wayne is saying it, and listen, listen, it, it's a, it's also another. Another thought in my mind. Well, I was sitting there thinking about this, right? So we got famous, we got real like famous rappers, right? Real, real so-called rappers. I don't really like to call y'all rappers. I'm gonna say artists for better. You know, I'm gonna hit y'all with the A instead of the um that R. You know what I'm saying? The hard R <laughs> rappers. Listen, y'all artists, blood. Um, 
the homies, uh, Lil Wayne, he definitely did his thing, blood. Now, who else is up there, blood, as far as artistry, right? As far as their notoriety and their artistry and them putting on and putting the B first, really, in their raps and all that. Um, who was doing that, blood? Um, shit. There's a lot of homies, but it's a lot of blood. But what what is the problem with um you know like sle- like so called homies that start rapping and then they start putting the hood or representing the hood in their raps? What is the problem with that? Oh, it's because y'all want to leech off of them. It's like you got so many leeching ass niggas. It's like blood. You can't tell a nigga what to do with their bread. Now it'd be good for them to give back and all that. But blood, listen. Sometimes if you come from a buster hood like fucking uh. What's his face? The 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 booty hunters? Blood. I don't even know if I want to claim them niggas. You come from a place like uh the Holly Hooks with uh Snoopy Badass. Think I'm claiming Holly Hooks when I get on? Psh, might be like blood too. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> Go start my own shit. That's what that nigga trying to do. <laughs> Fuck them niggas. <laughs> Listen, blood. Yeah, yeah, I can relate. I I, I definitely can relate. Relate. I think uh, Snoopy is really like Snoopy has tried to revive Hollywood, and he has. Let's let's keep that clear. He has, but Hollywood is you know looking real bad out here for them niggas. We're looking real sad. And they, they get, their name is getting drugged through the mud right now, and that's because they're literally going against the face of their hood. That's crazy. They're going to they're turning their backs on the face of their hood instead of. Correcting that nigga and be like, all right, you know, we're going to get behind you, blood, in this rap shit. And push him. Instead, they like, fuck that nigga. <laughs> oh, all the fucking L's. And, and hanging out, and, and I think he came to death row with that one time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Represent the mob. Hello, world. All my kings and queens. Yeah, uh, Tupac. Tupac got into it with Orlando Anderson, and um, you know, Lil Wayne. For what it's worth, blood. Uh, shout out to Lil Wayne. For what it's worth. But do I agree with everything Lil Wayne does? Fuck no. But can I say he's not a blood? Fuck, I can't say that. Might be one of the evilest bloods on the planet, but. Still blood. There's still a lot of there's a lot of evil bloods, but there's a lot of good homies too that do good things for the overall identity. You feel me? You are gonna have bad apples, blood. <clears throat> not not every apple hat's gonna be um you know pure apple blood. You are gonna have bad apples, blood. You know what bad apples are? Crab apples. <laughs> Especially <laughs> Mazuligans. Crab apples. Thank you all for tapping in with your boy one time. I pray that everybody is doing good and utilizing their 24 hours to the best of their abilities, not only for themselves, but for those around them. Each one, teach one. That's a that's a saying that T was running around saying. So did you get that from T? Each one, teach one? Yeah, you definitely got that from T. Why not shout out T for that? You should have been like, yeah, shout out to T for, for that. Each one, teach one. I'm going to jump right into it today. Jump into it. I watched the video from the big homeboy, mm-hmm. Bonnie Hunter BJ. And I just got a few things that I want to shoot out there. I don't know how Bonnie Hunter BJ, yo big homeboy, I don't get it. Ain't y'all like around the same age? Y'all niggas ain't that different, man. Blood ain't, even if you my older, even if you older blood, that do not make you my big homie, none of that shit. Uh... You know, I'm going to measure you by your intelligence. Okay? Not by how old you are. Fuck how old you are. I measure a nigga by their intelligence. Yeah. It's come upon me to resurrect this here thing of ours and bring it back Mm-mm. Mm-mm. to how it's supposed to be. Mm-mm. 
I would say that you're you you play your position and you know know your role, play your position. But I don't know what the fuck you talking about as far as it's up to you. What the fuck? Look, we don't even know you. I don't even know your name right now. We don't even know who the fuck you are. We we have no fucking clue who the fuck you are. Do y'all know him? Do y'all know who the fuck this is? I don't know him. Y'all know me, right? I'm Swoop. I'm the dog. However, uh, I don't know this nigga. I, I never heard of you. Until, you know, I, ca- I like stumbled into your page. But I stumbled into your page. But now, you know, now I know you. Or getting to know you, at least. Or, you know, I know of you. How about that? A lot of niggas know of me. They don't really know me. But they know of me. So, you know, rather you know of me or not. You know, now we are, you know, having this out. But blood, last time I checked, blood, I, I watched the video. You said you put man, you said you're a man first, then you black, and sky skyline, and then blood last. So I'm like, I don't know how you put blood last, and you gonna say that you bringing something back. Okay. Uh, 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 I mean, try again, but just reorganize that list, you know putting blood at the top then you can be utilized in such capacity but who who and what you're doing now and how you presenting you ain't a good representative of this thing and you keep on calling it little it's not little this this thing it's bloods in all over the country in every state in the united states as the united blood nation there's all blood that's why usa ubn i mean Blood, listen, if you ain't a part of that, then, you know, the only thing little here is Paru. Paru. Uh, I'm going to give you some Pinology from the real Parus. Um, neighborhood Parus. Pinology. There's nothing wrong with being small, blood. You just got to know how to utilize your size. Play your position. See, y'all y'all, y'all, y'all get so hung up on the Paru, blood. Y'all don't look at none of the other P's. Listen, I, y'all need to go get a dictionary and read every goddamn P word so you'll know what a power is. Read everything. And since y'all want to be the P, go read it. I need y'all to know that section by heart. <laughs> no, 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 I'm playing, but I'm serious. Let's go. Because we didn't got off track. Mm-hmm. Mainly... I want to say because uh, our numbers then jumped up over the years. So I'm going to start by telling you all what it means to me to be up under this beautiful umbrella and covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Stop, stop that, stop that. You keep on saying, oh, there's no one man and all that, and uh, it's not a man. <laughs> It's King Blood, okay? You got a crown on. Uh, might as well salute and pledge your allegiance. You know, realign yourself. Realize the real lies you've been telling yourself, Blood. Listen. Um, you know. I'm just saying. Uh, all the skylines out there, under my voice, the real skylines. You know, the blood skylines. Not the goddamn peons and the pyrus. Uh, the... the the pretender parus. Listen, y'all ain't no damn different from the damn bounty hunters. Y'all got problems that y'all need to realign and reassess yourselves and correct yourself. Cause you over here talking about Jesus blood and all that shit. Blood. Listen here. Zeus is a is a demon. It's a devil. Just like uh Parus. The Parus are is Latin in Phoenician Paru means devil. But you're talking about all this God stuff. So if you, you want to be on God's side uh, put the devil aside and use your devil, uh, you know, energy to go after enemies. I don't ever want to hear Paru in your mouth unless you saying that to a crowd. Like how Snoopy Badass did. Paru. <laughs> Blood. Yeah, you, you seen how that nigga did that? Take, yeah, I hope he was taking notes. You know what I'm saying? Because you came up on here and all your regalia and all that. I hope you pushing it like that. You know when you you know uh you know out and about doing your thing presenting and representing for this beat you know put that beat high in the sky so we could see 
that you are, you know, saluting and trooping. Because you throw that, you throw the B down, talking about, oh, it's peons. <laughs> you might get hit like Dion <laughs> when he had the ball. And he said, oh, y'all, protect him. The, the Paru's around you said, <laughs> protect him. This is Paru. We don't do no protecting. Listen, hey, don't get play your position. Uh, I, uh, that that rant. That's all that was. Play your position. Know your role. When I first started going to jail, mm -hmm. not juvenile hall. Got to say CYA because CYA mm -hmm. introduced me, uh -huh. a San Diegan, San Diegan to the. <laughs> Forefathers oh. hoods of this here little thing. Mm -hmm. And like every other homie, relative, that chooses to represent this little thing of ours, we hold the holy mecca up high. So to be around them and to represent for me was a beautiful thing. Now, I'm going to describe for you all as quickly as possible, what it meant and how it felt being up under this umbrella. Respect, first and foremost, not by the inmates, but by the staff. The correctional officers, they knew if you was a part of this little thing of ours and you stayed tall through it all, then you was not the average Joe. Because the joints was over occupancy with enemies. And so for you to stay tall through it all with your back against the motherfucking wall, not stumble or fall or crawl, you have to be a real above the norm. And that's what we was. That's what we are. And that's how they looked at us. Immediately. Respect. Is that what y'all are? Or is that what your little homies are? Or were? Or the homies that are dead are? Or were? I'm just saying. Some of y'all was I told Marv. Told him Marv. Name me one time. I told Marv. Put any pressure on any enemy. When when the, when's the time that I told them Marvin and told a nigga keep the P out their mouth, keep the B out their mouth when it comes to respect? Any time that ever happened? Uh, I done told Cappuccino ass to keep fucking B out his mouth, Mr. Watts up. Since he ain't no blood, since his fuck bloods, so, all right, keep my fucking bloods out your mouth, blood. Keep bounty hunter out your mouth. That shit belongs to blood. Y'all was the apple hats. You want to be a, lo a lost boy? I thought you was a bounty hunter, blood. See, he he confused. He want, you, you know how I told Lamar, he told, he told y'all niggas y'all was confused. He said, how y'all going to be bloods and pyros? He said, you are confused. He was talking about you. He was talking about niggas like you. He said that you confused. Look, you don't even look like one of them pyros. Some pyros were in burgundy. You over here flamed up, blood. Yeah, you flamed up because y'all want to go heads up with Lincoln Park. Y'all want to be the real bloods. When, even though the Lincoln Parks are in green, they the real bloods. And y'all, y'all are the perpetrators. Y'all traded and perpetrated against LPB and try to have them green lit. <laughs> and they did go green. You green lighted <laughs> them niggas. <laughs> I can't make this up, blood. That's hilarious. But yeah, I, as far as checking in with you, no. Uh, I don't think y'all would be good. You, y'all wouldn't be good. Or at least you, you wouldn't be good with them Compton Parus. They would treat y'all like some outsiders. And they would do y'all like how I, like how the NHBH guy did. The homie from NHBH. Make it make sense, y'all. Let's keep on going. Mm -hmm. was shown. Now, as far as the inmates, mm -hmm. they felt the same way because it was not easy representing this little thing of ours. Mm -hmm. 
Reason why I start there, because it felt beautiful. The respect and love that they gave you, man. I'm, I promise, mm -hmm. man, you felt it because they knew that you was against all odds. And as a man, you stood up on your 10 toes and you walked through. No, we were bloods. <laughs> Didn't give a fuck about man. We was bloods. The homies that trooped and did with all this shit you talking about, they were bloods. So you was a blood too. But in your mind, you this man and you doing all this shit. It's not about you. Mr. One, one motherfucker ain't a bloods program. The shadow of the valley of death and felt no evil. Mm -hmm. Now, my big homeboys. Talking about Bonnie Hunter BJ. I'm talking about Ayatollah. I I'm talking about, you know, uh, 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 all of them, man. Listen, <laughs> for them to represent this little thing of ours during their time, homie, they had to be some of the realest men that this earth has ever seen. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. They're the cowards. Tola Marv was a coward. Tola Marv got called an S word by all those crabs and didn't do shit. He was like, oh, I'm not tripping. It's Pyro. He was just, just like how a motherfucker uh, Bosco said. He said, yeah, the, the Pyro's in the joint. When he went to, when he went to the joint and the Pyro's like, oh, we're not tripping. Call us the S word. We're not tripping. We're Pyro's. And then, then <laughs> the Bonnie Hunters and the, and the Pyro's. Decide to go against the UBN, and and pretty much stab up and kill kill the homeboys. Y'all went to war against the homeboys, try to kill them all. Maybe even succeeded. Who knows? Well, I'm just saying, uh, revenge is sweet, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be waiting for you niggas, uh, for all you niggas who y'all you know, not UBN. If you're not UBN, you're not no damn blood. How about that? If you ain't no damn UBN. If you're not a part of this thing called UBN, right? I don't care how you got into it. <laughs> really, I don't care. Uh, you know, as far as being able to identify as a, as as a united front, if you're not a part of that on UBN, you ain't no goddamn. Uh, you know, under this so-called umbrella, you know, umbrella, the U for you, and then the B, I love you know, the nation, the umbrella nation, the United Nation. If you're not a part of that, how the fuck are you gonna be a part of UBN? Make it make sense. Make make it make sense, blood. How you gonna be on that umbrella? You ain't a part of UBN though. Stop it. You was putting Paru first, so why ain't you put on the little fucking stupid ass burgundy jacket like your homeboys from Compton? Since you pledging your allegiance to Compton, you pledging your allegiance to San Diego and all this shit, blood. I'm about to. Go on a tangent and rant on YouTube. Because like I said, I was going to do a video on YouTube. Getting at you. Getting at you like correcting you right now. Like I'm doing right now. That's all. Because when they was doing not, And it's not really about you. It's about Skyline. I'm correcting Skyline publicly. Skyline. Y'all was wrong. Skyline. Since you from Skyline, you need to be doing a lot of, I don't know what it was, like apologizing not only to Skyline, but apologizing to the blood identity collectively for Skyline. Say, hey, Skyline, we bloods, we Skyline bloods, uh, or we Skyline power rule bloods or whatever. Uh, like y'all not, y'all don't live in power rule. Y'all, y'all don't have a power rule street in, in San Diego. I don't know why the fuck y'all calling yourselves San Diego power rules. Maybe, you know, I'm gonna give it an OG call blood. Since I am the King B and you are not, um, how about you, um, re-identify yourself in the rest of Skyline and Skyline Bloods and get all them, um, pirates, um, those fucking devils named Skyline Pyrus. How about y'all squash them and run their ass up out of there, take over and rebuild and realign yourselves to Skyline Bloods and unify to be with Lincoln Park and the brims around y'all and everybody and and then y'all go after the crabs and get their ass about the way. Save those neighborhoods, restore San Diego back to its, you know, um purest form. That would be lit. Because I heard y'all was the first blood gang in San Diego. But now y'all going around saying y'all not bloods. You said that. You said that. 
you was going around saying that you was a blood killer when the dude from Skyline was saying that he was a Paru killer, PK. You turned around and hit him up and said, blood killer. And I was like, Froggy? Frog, Mr. Froggy? Mr. McGee? I was like, Froggy? What the fuck? <laughs> Y'all heard that and I wanted to hop or drop. I wanted to hop a nigga. I wanted to hop to the phone and drop a nigga. Uh oh, uh oh. Now I wanted to, I wanted to take off on you when you said that. I was like, well, uh, what? I wanted to take the flag out my pocket, wrap it around my knuckles, make the fist and lock it. See, you got this big oversized rag, blood. Uh, where's your rag? I mean, you got these gloves on your hand, but that don't mean you using a man. Um, besides, like, what, yard work or some shit? What the fuck you been doing? There you go. Huh. I don't ever want to see them gloves or, or none of this regalia until you become a blood again. How the fuck are you dressing up as a blood, nigga? You ain't no blood. You a goddamn skyline. What what what's the other color skyline wear? Hmm. I'll wait. It was against all lies times. Uh, meaning, nigga, the Hoovers was crips then. So, and the fuck them goddamn hoochie crabs. Them goddamn, um, I ain't gonna say fuck them because uh, I got love for the Hoover Park. I do. Shout out to Hoover Parks. Shout out to Mama Hoover out there. Mama Trey. Shout out to Mama Trey. And um, I don't consider them crabs. I don't consider them criminals. You know, even though they may run around calling themselves criminals and crabs. I don't, I don't consider them that. That's a horrible thing to consider yourself. A criminal crab. That's, that's crazy. Criminal or crab, or even a gangster. That shit's uh, stupid as hell. It got a lot of people killed. Because uh, out in, outside of California, the, the Hoovers were fighting one another. The Hoover criminals versus the Hoover gangster. Or the Hoover Crip gang. Ver no, at first it was the Hoover Crip gang versus the Hoover Crips. Right? Or Hoover gangster Crips and Hoover Crip gang. Something like that. So, yeah, uh, fuck all that, you know, Hoover shit, you know, respectfully. Respect fively, you know what I'm saying? Because the only Hoovers I fuck with is Bloods. You got to be a Blood for me to fuck with you like that, you know what I'm saying? Even if you, know, even if you don't believe that you're a Blood, like, you know, take your ass around the Crips and you'll see when they cut you. See if you bleed. Hmm. Hoovers is now. Cause crip, Crips start with a C. So I don't know why y'all think they ain't cutting shit, you know. Yeah. Then and now, always been a motherfucking force to reckon with. You understand? Mm -hmm. and, and 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 back then, they was cripping hard. Mm -hmm. So the homeboys that stay solid back then, you can't give them nothing but your utmost respect and honor. And for that big homie, you got mine. But look, look, just because you was alive back then doesn't mean you was putting in for the homies. Doesn't mean you did a goddamn thing. I don't got to respect you just because you fucking old. So a lot of you niggas was old and told and folded. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? I got to respect you just because you old and folded like a goddamn napkin. And now you want to come outside when all the dust done clear, when all the homies is dead. And y'all want to come out here and act like y'all done led something like Elgin. Fuck out of here. That don't mean I have to agree with everything you talking. And I don't agree with the shit you talking. First. Mm -hmm. First thing I want to talk about here. Back when I was coming up. Oh, it was a blast for me to speak our business. <laughs> speak down on anybody. Represent our business mm -hmm. to the masses. Sure. Now I know it's a different world now. Which is I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Um, it was not blasphemous to talk down a, a bond homies who are doing dirt and doing dumb shit. I don't know where the fuck you getting that. You know, I don't know where you getting that. That's not true. It's not true. I'm trying to spin this like a fucking you whooping and stuff right now, blood. But you ain't gonna spin me. You know, I'm I'm beyond your Jedi mind tricks, blood. You ain't gonna be able to Jedi mind trick me. Wrong guy. Wrong homie. Wrong homie. Cause uh 
this right here, that's not going to um, distract me. I heard what you said. No, I listen. I pay attention. And your Jedi mind tricks don't work on me. It's cool, which is cool. I'm with that. But understand this. I see you. And I'm about to tell you how I see you. Mm -hmm. Spoke about Lil Wayne and Baby. Mm -hmm. Right? Hey. About how you tried to press up on him at an award show. That about a bitch. Obviously, they blew past you. Mm -hmm. So now, you think it's suitable to disrespect them to the masses mm -hmm. because you're from LA and because you're a bounty hunter. Let me let me tell y'all about the bounty. That nigga's from Lots, ain't he? I heard they don't consider themselves part of LA. Last time I checked. I was hunters real quick let's start with the bounty hunters before i get on my big homeboy bounty and then on top of that i told him is from compton according to him even though he really from la just like dl hughley <laughs> all right oh, let's go this is on top of the hierarchy as far as this here thing of ours what did you just say the bounty hunters is the top of the hierarchy wrong who the fuck told you that who told you that, blood? Who told you that? Make it make sense. How is they the top of our hierarchy, blood? If they were fucking green jackets. <laughs> they were green jackets prior to their blood identity. How the fuck are they the top? Just because they got a big building and a bunch of niggas? It's crazy. Just because you are bigger doesn't make you the top. Even if you being older, that still don't make you the top. Having real writers, knowledge, knowledgeable elders, young homies that are bracken, you being smart, like we the 300 blood, it don't matter if you are big blood, all we need is a very small amount of solid homeboys and we'll kick your ass. Kick your ass. We don't need automatic sawed off weapons and all of that. We'll beat your ass with motherfucking sticks and stones. Stone y'all niggas to death, blood. <laughs> Real stone, I'm stone to the bone, nigga. We'll, we'll get that stone to the bone until you get it, nigga. And we'll be cracking your shit. <laughs> get that stone to the bone. And while the blood gushing out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Pecking on Uh, Not only do they have the numbers. So, he's saying they have the numbers. He's saying Bounty Hunter Bloods is at the top because of numbers. Crazy. Let me let me tell y'all about the Bounty Hunters real quick. Let's start with the Bounty Hunters before I get on my big homeboy. Boy. Bounty Hunters is on top of the hierarchy as far as this here thing of ours pecking on them. Mm -hmm. uh, not only mm -hmm. do they have the numbers, but they are also with the shit. Plain and simple, man. You know what I'm saying? They are a force to reckon with, whether you inside the system or on the streets, homie. If you don't know, now you know. Don't fuck with them. They nothing to fuck with. 1992. Man, I'll take Charleston White ass down there. Boy, man, with the artillery Charleston White got, he go to war with them goddamn bounty hunters. <laughs> Look, with the artillery Charleston White got, and I'm on a whole lot of white power shit. I guarantee you if I ever get, you know, viral enough and Charles the White be like, oh, blood up here, you really trooping. He said he going to do what to them niggas down there? Hell yeah. Hey, Charlie White lend it to me. Charlie White lend me that, that weaponry to get them lost boys to fuck up out of them lots. <laughs> yeah, if they're armors, blood, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, go, hey, go paint that town red again since they, they out. They out they mine. They over there with the black rags. I'm saying you <laughs> go, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, since they got black rags on, you already know what that means, right? No surrender. Yeah, they black rags. Don't give them no mercy. They ain't going to give you no mercy. Yeah, yeah. No mercy. Black rags. Y'all niggas put on black rags. Oh, uh, it's no more love. No mercy. R1, Rodney King riots, 
set off a chain of events. One of those events was the peace treaty, mm -hmm. the tying of the red flag with the blue flag, which ain't a problem because no it's love and we do need to come together in times of need. But I also feel like we're supposed to come together in the time of just being black kings and queens. Problem. We're not black. We're bloods. 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 Listen here. Listen here. Listen well. Respect five. We're not bloods. Stop saying that. Respectfully. Because you don't get a lot of motherfuckers hurt and killed. Just like your homies and your other phonies that hang out with you. Who have the same delusional ass, crackhead ass thoughts. You. Lead who? You fucking crackhead. You need to play your motherfucking position. And share my goddamn videos. That's what you should do. Respectfully. You know. I don't, I don't want to disrespect you homie. This is not about disrespect. It's about correction. Because I fuck with you. I do. But do I think you're wrong? Yes. And I got I to gotta give it to you like this because I've, I've, I've been in your comment section. I know you've seen me in your comment section. But you don't want to reply. So it's all right. I'll give you the first video just to give you my temperature, blood. You got to knock that shit off. I, I know this is for entertainment purposes for you, right? Mr. Uh, Zoo Entertainment, Planet, Planet Zoo Entertainment guy. This is just, this is just funny for you. This is just something for you. To play costume and shit like that, right? But if if I go to the, the, the jungles, you know, I got to really live up to this shit. If I go to, if I get stranded out in looters, I got to live up to all this shit. I got, you know, I got tattoos. I got family back home I got to get to. You know, I come from where I come from. You know the homies going to be like, yeah, let me see that ink. <laughs> I can't hide who I am. Not only during trying times, but in loving times. Mm -hmm. Because we all need each other. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about this. A lot of peace treaties went on. A lot of hoods joined different hoods. Like I said before, the fruit towns and the treetops was fruit trees at this time. Yeah. Together, connected, all right? still connected <laughs> they gotta be connected they, they're neighbors they live right next fucking door and their hoods intersect so <laughs> they're they're still connected just because these young dumb fucking fools don't call it the fruit trees don't make it not the fruit trees that's the thing and if they're not fruit trees they're enemies <sighs> enemies if they're over there claiming that claiming that section i'm just saying just make it make it make sense Make it make sense. The bounty hunters chose to connect with the great streets. I don't have a problem with that either. How don't you have a problem with that? I heard the grape streets were still cribs. I've always thought, I always considered them to be bloods anyways, because traditionally we're, we, we wear purple. In our, in our regalia, when we come together as mob, we, we wear purple. So you wearing your red regalia, as a blood, all right, I get that. You probably got some burgundy regalia somewhere. Who knows? You might have some fucking blue regalia as far as I we you know. But yeah, um, and I'm not dissing the blue regalia or whatever necessarily. I'm just saying that everybody got a position to play. And you playing multiple positions. You need to pick a lane and um, get in there. Get in there. Let's go. But with that, mm -hmm. they jump shit mm -hmm. on our alumni. Our alumni, what the fuck? How they jump shit, shit from the your alumni? Are we talking about the bounty hunters? What are you talking about our alumni? Are you talking about the alliance? Yeah, of course, right. The just say the the UBN. They left the UBN to start this booty roo shit. Let's hear it. And they started being what's up. Oh, what's up? My bad. What's up? That's what the crabs, right? Where the the crabs and these other motherfuckers just what's right now. They're just saying, "Oh, we're what's." 
What the fuck that's supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Y'all bloods? Because last time I checked, y'all was bloods. So is, is it, are we all bloods? If we all bloods, then uh, I should be able to be good in Grape Street, right? With my red rag, I should be able to just be able to walk through there and troop and, you know, get safe passage, right? Because we all bloods. We all, it's Watts up, right? Me and Watts. Watts, as far as I know, belong to bloods. Last time I checked. But, you know, I heard maybe, maybe it doesn't. Maybe the bloods got wiped out. Maybe it's nothing but crabs. Maybe it's just crabs and red rags. Some hooks. I mean, the homie went in there and he got, he got greeted by fucking hooks. After he was invited. He was brought over there by his relative. His blood relative. He got hook blood. Like some hooks. Hmm. Their city being a city thing. Now, I'm not going to break down the street shit and know how all that went, but in prison, mm -hmm. they did this. Yeah, that's crazy. Not all of them, but some of them, and you never knew when they was going to do it. You never knew. You just knew when it was on, you looked up. Some homies wasn't there. Wow. I saw this with my own eyes during a riot that I participated in that had absolutely zero to do with the Dago Bloods because that, now see that, it doesn't make a difference. Right. When one is in any type of issue, we all did. That's fact. But the homies from the hunters did. They rolled Watts. Meaning, they are allowed to be on the fence sometimes. Sometimes they is, sometimes they ain't. That's something that we need to correct because bro, That's not good, I mean, period. You know what I'm saying? Why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because... Well, obviously, they done made a, made a thing where alliance, a secret alliance behind our backs, and they are no longer bloods, is what you're pretty much saying. You're pretty much confirming what uh, Booty, Booty Hummer's talking about and what I've seen. You know, I'm like, these dudes, they claim to be bloods, but they're not really bloods. They just, they're hooks. You know, the motherfuckers are vice lords. They literally throwing up VL in there. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> these niggas throwing up hooks. What the fuck going on? You know, next thing you know, they're going to be running their flags to the left. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. Then what, Booty Hunter? Since uh, <clears throat> this is what you wanted. You know, you, Booty Hunter Blowjob was one of those main dudes over there pushing them into this direction of separation. And they wage war against the UBN in prison, which protects us all in prison. And it also protects us all on the outside from big sets like the Nickersons, who are, you know, Big, but stupid, big goofies. That's why it takes us to be united to stop motherfuckers like that. And stop motherfuckers like Skyline when y'all try to get down on the Lincoln Parks. And they stopped y'all and started whooping y'all ass. And then y'all, eventually y'all just stopped. Y'all just, oh, it's all. Yeah. You know, I think y'all all should apologize. I think. You know, the speaker, since you're the speaker over there, I think you should apologize. Like, you you really need to be, like, really making whatever the hell uh, public-like shit with the Lincolns and showing y'all unity and solidarity. Like I said earlier, as Bloods, all of y'all, both Bloods, Lincoln Park Bloods and Skyline Bloods. As far as power rule goes, power, ain't no fucking power rule street in, in San Diego. And... There's a whole city dedicated to Pyrus. The Pyrus need to move their shit there. And plus, you serving God. How are you going to serve God and the devil? You can't serve two masters. You got to pick one. You over here want to be a fucking Pyru and Pyru don't accept you niggas. The Compton Pyrus look at y'all and, and y'all was the original East Coast niggas who they was treating like outsiders because y'all were. And y'all going to try to get in there and correct them from being the uh, crabs and red rags that they tend to be. Because that's really what Pyrus are. Crabs and red rags. They're the original crabs and red rags. Baba Louie and them 
Or at least Baba Louie was a fucking crip. He like Reginald West Side Power fucking crip. So listen, they're rips. That makes you a fucking rip too. So you walking dead. So yeah, if I was you and you know I'm talking high power like you talking right now, I would do something about that. I would get with God and pray to God forgives you for all the fuckery you participated in. And you, just like Booty Hummer Blowjob, separated something great. Y'all put y'all uh, second devil behind y'all and put God first at one point. Put your, matter of fact, I won't even say y'all put God first. Y'all probably just put King Blood at, at first at the time, the Alliance. Whoever was the King Blood. I don't even know if there was a King Blood. All I know is there's a King Blood here. Still is. King Blood would never die. Whether I'm alive or not. Let's keep on going. This shit needs to be corrected. The same way you corrected Little Wayne and Baby about having the flame flag in the left side pocket. Uh -huh. They needed correction, you corrected them, and as a homie, a big homie, that's your job. I had the flame flag in the left pocket before. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, man. I started representing this here little thing of ours when I was a baby. Mm -hmm. And I didn't give a damn about no left or right pocket. The only thing I cared about was flame and making sure that thing hang from my pocket all the way down to the floor. And All right, so you heard that? He didn't care which pocket it was, so... You didn't have, I know in the beginning, I don't ever think y'all had crabs over there like that, right? It was just y'all in San Diego at one point. The Bloods ran San Diego as far as I know. Who's in San Diego first, the Bloods or the Crips? I can't, I don't know. But <clears throat> y'all didn't have a bunch of different gangs. Y'all didn't have, y'all wasn't nation building or none of that. So y'all didn't have no allegiance or alliance outside the Blood Alliance. Or outside the Pyru Alliance, according to you. He was in this Pyru Alliance, y'all. And then the Lincolns dropped the Pyru identity, became Bloods, and then y'all decided to try to annihilate them because they weren't Pyrus no more. Right? Yeah. That's right. I ain't gonna say this over and over again. How, what is it? What is it? How, how long are we in here? Anywhere? An hour? I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap this up. Let's, let's go representation of this little thing. I'm shut up. It wasn't until my big homeboy baby score got out of CYA and instructed us on the do's and the don'ts. Like he was supposed to do. Like you was supposed to do. Now, I got my own interpretation on an interview you did, you corrected them when they were wrong, and that's what you're supposed to do as a big homie. Now, putting them on blast is sometimes different. Mm -hmm. And reason why I believe you put... He's not a big homie. He's not. He's no one's big homie. He's a fucking theater actor. He acts like you're a big homie, but he's not your fucking big homie. Them on blast is because they didn't let you win. <laughs> as they say, on the soft extortion. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And because of that, Distortion. you disregard, disrespect, and throw our fellow alumni up under the bus. That's kind of awkward. You said he's trying to extort them. Soft extortion. I, for uh, the left, left, left rag, I, I thought that was correction. And you know what? Technically, that is correct. I'm glad that uh, we learned that from the West Side uh, Bloods. Like I said, just because you the first doesn't mean you the the end all, the be all, or even the top of the fucking pecking order. When we came out into this thing, we was all in the dark. You know, I think we all was connected to devil worship and all kinds of fucking fucked up shit. And only until you got old enough to realize it, you got to go, oh, what can I do now? Now that I already done came through this shit as a child. What can I do? Do I just leave or do I correct things? I'd rather correct things. I mean, where am I going to go? <laughs> right? So it's like you got you got a choice. You either leave or you fight back. I'm going to fight back. And, you know, 
I'm I'm an original OG. Y'all remember y'all remember the movie uh, Original Gangsters? Y'all remember that? Oh yeah, that was in the Midwest, right? Y'all remember when the old niggas kicked them young niggas' ass? I can still kick these young niggas' ass. <laughs> I don't know about you, you niggas. Yeah, I mean, you look like you ready to kick some ass. All right, well, all right. <laughs> hey, when I need some soldiers, I'm gonna call you because that's <laughs> you got that. You, yeah, you look like you ready for for some combat. That's what I need. I need soldiers. So I, I mean, when I call for Skyline, will Skyline answer? Will Skyline say swoop? We gonna ride with you. If I'm ever locked up, and King Blood make a way to unite this thing under the umbrella you be in. Will you back my play? Will you nominate me and put me and crown me, right? Or respect my crown, because y'all didn't crown me. I was already crowned. But at least respect my crown, right? Acknowledge my crown and, you know, move and protect my crown. Because I feel like my crown is very important. I like my crown. My crown sits on my head. And my head is part of this vessel. It's all kind of the same. So I kind of need y'all to like help me maintain my appearance. right? Y'all don't want me looking bad. right? Y'all want me looking fucked up. Y'all want to shine. Y'all want to be the star. But blood, I'm a star. I'm the star. I embody the star. And I shine the brightest. Hmm. Anyway, um, you know, I, I I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't help the truth. It just pours right out of me. So uh, I apologize if this hurts your feelings. I know, um, you know, this must be very disappointing for all of you. You know, it's very, uh, it's, it's damn sure disappointing for me hearing, you know, what I have possibly reincarnated into or remembering or or even um, what what's that movie? I remember the Panther movie, Black the the, the Panther Panther guy. I remember calling Black Panther because that's a misnomer, okay? Because you don't have to call a Black Panther a Panther. You just call it a Panther because Panther is already deep melanated. That's what a, it means. Deep melanated cat. I'm a Leo, so I'm a deep melanated cat, which makes me a Panther. So I'm a Panther. So me and my Panther form could connect to all the other Panthers before me. And they give me this information, and they go, just, just you know, got you, we, we got you, we got you, we got you, P. They push and P, they push and P. Now, you know, and you, you know what's crazy about that movie, right? Hook, Peter Pan, Neverland, uh, the fairies. Fucking fairies. No one ever suspects the fairies of wrongdoing. Everybody blamed Pan. They blamed uh, the pirates. But no one wonders where the hell is all the other fairies at. Everybody's going nuts over the fairy. Hmm. Don't let that fly above your head. Now. I'm about to check all you guys on celebrities joining this little thing of all. Let me tell you something about this little thing of all. This little thing of all is, 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 is much respected, much loved and admired, and anybody would love to be a part of this here little union. Whether you're rich or not. Remember, everybody want to belong to something, and why not belong to this almighty little thing of all? It's sacred. It's beautiful. That it is. That it is. But it's not little. It's not little. Especially the solidness that it helps and assists young boys to become men in this world. So I know and I can see and I understand why. The rich would want to be a part of something so beautiful. Now. Alright. Uh, I think he's about to go in on why the rich bloods decided to join and all that. We, we're about to cut that out. We, we're about to go. Y'all could watch the rest of this video if y'all want to. 
but um, he gave us what we needed as far as bounty hunter go. I don't want to. I, I don't care about your opinion about the rich bloods as far as why they doing what they doing. Lil Wayne already explained that. Shout out Wayne, even though obviously <laughs> Wayne is a different type of whole different. Type, you know, I'm telling you. I have a lot of, uh, it's a lot of questionable things about Wayne. However, is he uh, lesser evil than a lot of other evil motherfuckers? Yeah, uh, I would say so. Uh, name me one little Wayne scandal y'all know about. You know, like some real serious shit. Besides the one I theorize on. You know, with him being a satanic Illuminati sellout. <laughs> Name me something else the general public said, oh, Wayne's a monster, Wayne's Wayne this, Wayne that. I never heard it. All I heard about him was being fairy, fruitcake-ish, star boy, all that type of shit. I heard that, and I seen that, right? However, <laughs> is it the worst thing I've seen in public? Fuck no. No, I, I mean... Beyond that, I'm just saying, I'll probably give him an 8 out of 10. <laughs> I'm going to chuck deuce to the deuce uh, to that, to the other shit. But I'll get, as far as overall pre presentation, <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just saying, that nigga, uh, I ain't going to, we ain't going to hide that. I ain't going to waste my time. I'll do that in another video. But yeah, as far as, how I feel about his overall blood identity as far as him as a so called person. I don't I don't know the motherfucker. I know he's into some dark he, she, whatever the fuck that thing is, is into some some other type of shit. But as far as their overall identity as a blood, they did a lot. They did a lot. They did a lot. And I don't necessarily see anything he did necessarily bad to embarrass the blood identity. So there's gonna be a lot of homies that are not you know, shy about hanging out with this nigga. Like, why would they? Why, why, why would they hang out with you, but not hang out with Lil Wayne and them niggas who, who in my mind are, are nowhere near as bad as you niggas. <laughs> now, you know, would I be seen at a club with them? No, I would. No, eh. Nah. Um, I don't know. Maybe like some well lit place in the daytime. <laughs> Fucking vampires, if they can even come out in the daytime. <sighs> shit, motherfuckers might melt. They might sparkle or some shit. I don't know. All I know is y'all into some extracurricular activities. I operate in the day. Y'all. Stay in the night, stay in the shadows. And I'll see y'all if I decide to visit. Until next time, it's the dog.